Everything I have said or done is in the hands of God. I commit myself to Him. I certify to you that I would do or say nothing against the Christian faith. But since God had commanded me to go, I must do it. And since God had commanded it, had I had a hundred fathers and a hundred mothers, and had I been a king's daughter, I would have gone. Men are sometimes hanged for speaking the truth. Alas, that my body, clean and whole, never been corrupted, today must be consumed and burnt to ashes. Truly, if you were to tear me limb from limb and separate my soul from my body, I would not say anything more. Even though I saw the executioner and the fire, I could not say anything but what I have said. In God's name, let us go on bravely. But to surrender who you are and to live without belief is more terrible than dying, even more terrible than dying young. The light comes at the same time as the voice. Act, and God will act, work, and He will work. I am not afraid. I was born to do this. I place trust in God, my Creator, in all things. I love Him with all my heart. You say that you are my judge. I do not know if you are, but take good heed not to judge me ill, because you would put yourself in great peril. Of the love or hatred God has for the English, I know nothing, but I do know that they will all be thrown out of France, except those who die there. It is true that the king has made a truce with the Duke of Burgundy for 15 days and that the Duke is to turn over the city of Paris at the end of 15 days. Go forward bravely, fear nothing, trust in God, all will be well. All battles are first won or lost in the mind. Hold the cross high so I may see it through the flames. I answered the voice that I was a poor girl who knew nothing of riding and warfare. I am the drum on which God is beating out his message. I was admonished to adopt feminine clothes. I refused and still refuse. As for other avocations of women, there are plenty of other women to perform them. When the wind blows my banner against the bulwark, you shall take it. The angels are as perfect in form as they are in spirit. Get up tomorrow early in the morning, and earlier than you did today, and do the best that you can. Courage, do not fall back. Every man gives his life for what he believes. Every woman gives her life for what she believes. The poor folk gladly came to me, for I did them no unkindness, but helped them as much as I could. If I am not, may it please God to bring me into it. If I am, may he preserve me in it. Always stay near me, for tomorrow I will have much to do and more than I ever had, and tomorrow blood will leave my body above the breast. King of England, and you, Duke of Bedford, who call yourself Regent of the Kingdom of France, settle your debt to the King of Heaven. It is true I wish to escape, and so I wish still, is not this lawful for all prisoners? I believe it was sent me from God, 
When I heard it for the third time, I recognized that it was the voice of an angel. This voice has always guarded me well, and I have always understood it. What concerns this dress is a small thing, less than nothing. I did not take it by the advice of any man in the world. It is better to be alone with God. I saw them with my bodily eyes as clearly as I see you, and when they departed, I used to weep and wish they would take me with them. But I must go, and I must do this thing, because my Lord will have it so. My voice is good, and to be honored, I am not bound to answer you about it. I should be the saddest in all the world if I knew that I were not in the grace of God. I were in a state of sin, do you think the voice would come to me? I would that everyone could hear the voice as I hear it. Those in my party knew well that the voice had been sent me from God. They have seen and known this voice, I am sure of it. My king and many others have also heard and seen the voices which came to me. Rather now than tomorrow, and tomorrow than the day after. His friendship will not fail me, nor his counsel, nor his love. In his strength, I will dare and dare and dare until I die. Far rather would I sit and sue beside my poor mother, for this thing is not of my condition. One life is all we have, and we live it as we believe in living it, and then it's gone. Sometimes people believe in little or nothing, and so they give their lives to little or nothing. I did not take this dress or do anything, but by the command of our Lord and of the angels. Everything I have said or done is in the hands of God. I commit myself to Him. I certify to you that I would do or say nothing against the Christian faith. But since God had commanded me to go, I must do it. And since God had commanded it, had I had a hundred fathers and a hundred mothers, and had I been a king's daughter, I would have gone.